Good morning. Uh, yeah, as you said, excited, nervous. At the end, uh, uh, as all the teams we've tried to prepare as, as good as we could uh, during the pre-season, but until the, the real competition starts, you really don't know where you are. I think uh, we arrived quite well, and I hope we can we we can perform well since the since the first game. A second pre-season with the club. How is this last few months compared with the same time last year? A little bit different, I think, because uh, you know much better the players. You you know what to expect uh, more or less from them. Uh, but at the end, it's the same. No, try to arrive in the best spot to the beginning of the season. Uh, we have a like we had past season. We had a, a very difficult schedule, I would say, the first games of the season. So we have to be very ready because it's gonna be uh, very tough. Yeah. Yep. I wouldn't say this. I, I, I just checked before coming here also. I think we are not favourites in the first five games of the season. Or no, we are not favourites, no. It's the opposition is more favourite than us. I checked the bets just so I could tell you. So uh, we know that uh, we have to play very well to win the, these games. We, it's not, uh, or we have to win away in difficult stadiums or we have to win at home against uh, top teams. So uh, overall, the first round, I think, is like this. We have very, very strong teams coming here to, to the court and we have uh, away games that if we want to win games, uh, uh, we have to always, it's always difficult to, to win away. So uh, sometimes to be... Normal is not going to be enough. We have to play really good games, especially in the first round, and uh, we, we 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 will start with this mentality. Yes. Since last week, we lost Dominic Solanke. Yep. Uh, the club being very gracious in wishing him the best. Yep. And uh, Tottenham, I guess, the same thing from you as well. Yeah, I, I've been very clear. Uh, for us, without Dom, probably my job is going to be more difficult because he's a. Uh, He's a hell of a player. He performed at a very, very high level. But uh, there is also a, a personal side that uh, uh, you want the best for him. And we will be uh, wanting him to score a lot of goals, to win every opposition, to be as good as he is. And I'm sure he will be. Because his behavior always has been top. Top. Because it's not easy. Uh, to score the goals he scored, to have the performance he, he had. For sure, he has had other offers before, and he's, he was very happy here. He has said it until the last day. It's also a good chance for him, but uh, everyone wishes him all, all the best, yes. How worried were you that it was going to happen? Did you think there was a chance that he could stay? Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know what's going to happen, what was going to happen. At the end, uh, uh, when the market is open, you know, uh, I was telling you, it's things that you cannot control. If a top team clubs uh, team comes and pays a lot of money, uh, they can they can sign him. No, it has happened. Uh, but also, it's a, a scenario that uh, the the club was preparing for. Because obviously, when you have a player that has been so so good, uh, these things uh, could could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Evan yep. here this um, can you give an update on how close that is? Yeah, I know uh, he has been here, he arrived uh, past night, has gone through all the medical stuff, but still uh, he has things to do uh, because these things take take the time, a lot of uh, paperwork to do. So I don't know really what's, what's going to be the, 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 the process, when it's going to be ready, we'll finish this, this, this process, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Right, right now is not finished. No. I really don't know. I really don't know this. Uh, I, you know that I hate this. This, especially these three games when the market is open and you have to change your mind and prepare for different scenarios in two, three hours. I think we have still three hours, no, before we have to make the registration. I think it's not finished now. But uh, we will see. Uh, I cannot tell you if it's going to be. Uh, everything finished uh, for tomorrow or not. But what about him as a, as a player? 
player with Champions League experience, yep. one of his first caps for Brazil as well. It feels like this would be a big signing for him. Yes, obviously. Uh, I think he has the the, the experience. is still young, but has uh, some some experience in in the top level. Has played Champions League. Also, he had the experience of going uh, his first games with the national team with uh, Brazil. So, if uh, if the, the signing finishes and we complete the the signing, would be for sure a, a very good signing for us. And what about Daniel Jefferson? Because he's been linked with a loan away. But yep. his yeah, he's been very good. I think in pre-season he has been fighting uh, a little bit. What I told you past week, no? Uh, we have delayed every decision uh, because right now we have Enes out. Uh, that uh, also is a, is a very important uh, player for us, and we will also make decisions uh, further. We don't have a lot of days, but uh, I think there is a part where you have to think on him, and there is a part where you have to think on. On, on, on the team, and we will try to arrive to the best uh, best solution with him. But I'm really happy with his attitude and his performance at this precision. Yes. And just finally, from me, just an injury update in terms of Ennis and how you said about him, yep. about him, how he's yep. doing, and, and any other team needs that he needs to know about? No, the three uh, players with uh, with surgeries that we have, that you do, you know that they are going to be out: Brooksy, Ennis, and and Tyler. And uh, we don't have uh, more big injuries. We've had one, two players with uh, some illness during the week that I don't know if they will arrive or or not. But uh, we don't have any any other injuries, no. Well, Andoni, um, because Evan Nielsen would be seen as the direct replacement for Dom, what are the similarities between the two? How similar players are? No, they are not similar players. You know, every player has his characteristics uh, and, and uh, the strengths, the weaknesses are going to be different. Uh, when you lose a player like, like Dom, it's not easy to replace him exactly with the same profile of player. I think the, the good thing is that uh, the club has been working uh, for months in, in case this scenario uh, appeared, and uh, I think now they are going through the process. Uh, uh, but until you don't see the player performing, and you don't know if if it's going to be good, bad, you know, with every signing there is always this uncertainty. But uh, we are we, we think that uh, is a is a is a very good level of a, a striker for us. Yes. If he was able to get it all done by yeah. the deadline, Kind of real training time? Uh, uh, I think it would be good if he could even uh, travel, travel with the with the, with the team. I think it's going to be even difficult this because he has to go through the visa. Even if he's registered, has to go through the visa process and probably no, for sure not on time to travel with the rest of the team. So we will take the decision as as the day goes. You know because uh, we will have to not a lot in two three hours. We know if. If he has a chance or not to be with us uh, tomorrow, but it's not the most important thing that uh, the, he's involved tomorrow or not. Is that uh, we 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 manage to to finish everything and he can help us uh, the the rest of the games that uh, they are a lot. What does it say about the vision that Thiago Pinto and Simon Francis and Neil Blake are selling to these players about this club that you're signing players from Barcelona, you're signing Brazilian internationals, etc. They're obviously saying the right things about where this club is going. Yeah, I, I think it's not uh, an, an easy situation for the club, no? because uh, you lose uh, Dom Solanke, that has been uh, very important for the club. Even, I would say, even Lloyd Kelly, that has been uh, one of our best players. And it's always difficult to try to replace the players that has been have been so, so important for the club for the last years. But uh, the club has gone through the through the plan. It's not something that they've made up in two, three days. No, there was something that a lot of work behind. And uh, we'll see after the results, no? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the process has been uh, good, but uh, until we don't see the the, the performances, uh, you will not know, no? If it's good, bad, very good, top, I don't know. You mentioned Lloyd Kelly. Obviously, you're a little bit short of left-backs. Yes. But you have three right-backs. Yep. Signing. What does that mean for some of the other right backs in your squad that you now have three for just one yep. place? 
Yeah, right now we have four, uh, four fullbacks. Uh, instead of having two and two, we have three plus one. But it's true that uh, especially Adam and even Max, I would say, they played on the left side. So I think I'm very confident that I could use them in the in the in the other side. And I think uh, we have the the area well covered. No, uh, you never know until the market ends uh, how we will finish. But uh, I think uh, we have the, the the numbers there. What about the futures of some of the players who found it hard to get minutes last yeah. season, or maybe were on loan elsewhere, the likes of Jaden Anthony, Chris Meppham, David Brooks? I know it's getting fit again. Yeah. Habit Traore. Are those players that we are probably likely to see move on before the end of the month? Uh, probably we'll see some of them leaving, but uh, not all the ones that you said. You know, uh, we cannot lose all all the players you said. No, I think uh, uh, is uh, I always tell you, no, it's about what they think, how they feel, if they are happy with the role, they are not. They are ready to push for the position, starting probably in in, in uh, let's say in a non-starter role. Uh, or they want to go somewhere else. If uh, the financials are good for the club or not, a lot of things are involved in, in transfers. And we'll see until the end of the market. We, we will not know exactly who stays and who leaves. Yes. Finally, for me, um, obviously a spectacular season last season, 12 record points. Yeah. For, what is the, the areas of improvement from this team that will take you to the next level this season? I think we will need. Uh, to improve a lot because I think every team is improving. Uh, you see every day the signings, the, you know, uh, this team has signed this player, the other player, and you feel everyone is going to be much stronger. So if we are the same team as past season, we will finish lower for sure. If we don't improve and we are not better, uh, uh, we will not go in, in the same uh, improvement level of the competition. So I feel like even if you are good, sometimes it's not going to be enough. You have to be very good because the opposition, uh, Not I'm not even talking about the top 10 teams. Uh, the others are doing really, really good signings, are, are completing very good teams. So we have to be ready because the challenge, the overall level of the Premier League for me has has risen a lot. It's rising every every season. So we we need to improve.